Gerd Malgoth, uh, Kian Corla, I'm introducing the Green Party's Healthy Homes Bill today, which I believe is a vital step in making homes safer and warmer for renters. Firstly, this bill would require the Minister for Housing, Planning and Local Government to make regulations to require private landlords to test their properties for a raid on and remediate them if necessary. And secondly, it would require the Minister to make regulations to impose thermal comfort and efficiency standards such as minimum, minimum building energy rating. Currently, there are no obligation on landlords to do either of these, and because these measures only benefit the tenant and not the landlord, there is little incentive for the landlords to undertake this work. Radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas which is colourless and odourless and can only be detected using specialised equipment. Yet it is linked to between 280 and 300 lung cancer cases in Ireland every year, which, you know, that stands for 10% of lung cancer cases in Ireland each year. And testing for radon costs only about 50 euros and just involves leaving a monitoring device in the home for three months and returning it to a lab. Remediation, if necessary, will generally cost less than €1,000, which in many cases in the current rental market in many of the areas where there is high rate on levels is not more than one month's rent. Currently, all that happens is local authorities ask landlords if they have tested for radon. But in the case of Fingal County Council, for example, the council reported last year that in the previous five years, for 559 properties, not a single landlord replied that they had tested their property for radon. Work done by Quentin Crowley in Trinity has estimated that more than 30% of the national building stock is at high radon risk area. And over 460,000 people, that's 10% of the total population, may be living in homes with high radon concentrations. So this bill puts an obligation on the Minister to implement an action which the government itself adopted in the National Radon Control Strategy in 2014, but which they failed to do when reviewing the rented houses st um, standards in 2017. It is a vital measure for strengthening the rights of tenants to live in a safe home. The second aspect of the bill will ensure that tenants will be able to live in a warm, energy efficient home. Everyone agrees that we need to upgrade the vast majority of housing stock to improve living conditions, save on fuel bills and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. While current government policies do include some measure of state-sponsored retrofit of social housing and incentives for homeowners to insulate their houses, there has been almost no retrofitting of private rented accommodation. And this is due to the split incentive, where the landlord would pay for the insulation, but the tenant would be the person to benefit. If we do not introduce the minimum standards, we will end up with many households and tenants continuing to live in substandard accommodation and some in fuel poverty due to the energy inefficiency of their homes and apartments. This bill requires the Minister to create regulations by the end of this year, but at the cost of retrofitting can vary greatly from property to property. We would envision here there would be a transition period before the minimum thermal efficiency standards would be applicable to all rental properties. These are two issues that we need to start tackling as soon as possible, and I would urge everyone to support this bill so that we can ensure safer, warmer homes are guaranteed for renters. Thank you very much, Deputy Martin.